Welcome back. You can see we have a lot going on <laughs> today for this segment. We are here to talk about the Bluegrass Fair that's still going on for the rest of the week. And with a look at some of the things that you'll find at this year's fair, we're pleased to welcome Carrie Davis, an agri-science instructor at Fayette Technical Center, the Eastside Campus, and also Linda Allen, the Lexington Lions Club president. And we have two very special guests. Who do you have that's with you right. today? couple of goats that are in the petting barnyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, of course, you hear a lot about uh, the rides and the vendors and all the usual f uh, fun at the fair, but um, these guys are just an example of some of the uh, things that are going on in the agriculture and animal department. Tell us a little bit about some of the exhibits that are going on. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Eastside FFA students are running a petting barnyard where people can come with their kids and experience uh, numerous farm animals and feed them if they want to. And then we also have forage uh, forages on display for the hay contest they had and tonight's the hog show and tomorrow night's the poultry show dog show on Saturday and then there's a round robin show of showmen on Sunday so still plenty of more agricultural events coming up wonderful and um, I know it hasn't been the best week weather wise but um, hopefully we're getting some more good days in uh, the fair opens every evening right at five o'clock during the week and three on weekends and uh, any other special events still coming up for the rest of the week uh, I think with our shows, the racing pigs will be their course, and the <laughs> florists, you know, uh, motorcycles and uh, those things, and lots of good food, and uh, the uh, screenings that are going on in the pavilion, and uh, of course, over 40 rides for the public to enjoy. Wonderful, and um, it runs through Sunday, right? right. This is the, mm -hmm. the last week we're wrapping up, and really a great value for your family um, to, to get in. Tell us about uh, admission, and parking's always free. Parking is free. Uh, you use $5 admission. You can purchase an armband for the rides for $18, or if you have pre-purchased tickets, you, you, know, you have those that are available. Wonderful. And so it's uh, a lot of th good things going on. And uh, you're seeing some video there. Of course, we would start with the food. That's always what people think about <laughs> with the, the fair. The funnel cake's one of my favorites. <laughs> yes. And uh, all, everything you can imagine, I'm sure, with the games and food out there, too. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of games and a lot of food. Wonderful. And um, this is a big fundraiser for the Lions Club. Tell us a little bit about how this money um, helps you guys with your mission. Well, through this uh, fair, we are able to support the charities within the community that we have. Um, we also are able to buy eyeglasses and hearing aids and uh, have surgeries that, for people, corrective surgery that cannot be otherwise afforded. We have camps for the deaf and the blind and also a diabetes camp and a lot of good things that are going on with that. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. You've been seeing the information there at the bottom of your screen. If you want to learn more about the fair or any of the events, there's a phone number and website. So just use that for your contact information. And these goats have been the best behaved goats we've ever had here on our, on our newscast. Well, that's good. <laughs> We're glad. They're doing a good job. We will be right back.